no script. I'm just going to speak from my heart, a place I didn't believe existed anymore. But we're going to go there. Five months ago, my anime journey begun. Not only here on this channel, but my life. As many of you may know, if you don't know, growing up, anime wasn't my thing. I mean, sure, I watched Pokemon, but do you even consider that anime? Yes, Nick, it's anime. No. I watched it in English. I've maybe seen one season of Pokemon, and that was it. I feel like everybody has seen Pokemon or Dragon Ball, one or the other, or maybe all of them. I don't know, but Pokemon was my only experience with animation as a kid other than like Disney and stuff but that's like American shit we don't talk about that here on this channel fuck America I want to talk about what I love about anime what do I love most about anime so far it's for sure the community and I'm not just talking about my community but the anime community in general and how accepting they were now you probably just got into my channel this year if you're watching this video most of you some of you may have been around for a while I started my channel about four years ago. I was a K-pop content creator. <laughs> oh my god. I reacted to K-pop. I love the music, but... <laughs> the fans. <laughs> wow, I don't know. I mean, I, I was cancelled like three times. C can you believe that? With my mouth? Why the K-pop community cancelled me? I mentioned 9-11 in yesterday's video. That would have got me beheaded in the community. I couldn't be myself in that community. I had to dumb myself down. Nothing wrong with the music. I love those fans that are still subscribers of mine, but the community, it's not for me. It's not somewhere where I felt like I could be myself. But the anime community, I feel like I could be myself for the first time. I could make jokes. I could mention some controversial subjects. I could say how I really feel about things if I don't like something. And yeah, there's people in the comments sometimes that are like, how dare you not like it? Yeah, 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 you're terrible. <laughs> I understand that, okay? People, some people are passionate about things. They don't like when you talk bad about what they like, especially if it's like a nice anime they watch and you're like, I'm not too crazy about this episode. Like, all we learned about was the cut on Eren's kneecap. That didn't happen, though I would actually like an episode like that, but still. What I'm trying to say is that in the anime community, I'm able to be myself. And for that, I thank you guys for being so welcoming, for welcoming me into this community with open arms and slapping my ass in the process of it. I, I completely and eternally am grateful. I'm telling you guys, I went to Anime Expo 2022 last week, a couple of days ago in LA. Drove, drove, oh my god, yeah, I drove my car through the sky. I flew six hours with three of my best friends since I was three years old, and I got to experience this four-day event, but I only went there for two days. People came up to me during the event wanting to take pictures, oh, saying they love me. One guy said he was shaking. Fuck! Like, I, I couldn't believe it, bro. Never in my life have I felt like, uh, like special. I've always felt like, like special, but in the other way. Like, not special in a good way, but specially, you know, in the, in the mental. So now, I'm like, holy shit, like, this is amazing. And it wasn't only that, that was just a serving on the side. That was like the mashed potatoes. The full course was the event itself. Everybody dressed up. This was like a culture. That this was amazing. It wasn't just uh, anime anymore. It was it was culture. Everyone was dressed up across different animes, manga, different movies, Star Wars. There was everything. Everyone was having fun. They were shopping for posters. My friend bought like 50 fucking big anime tit posters. Like it was an amazing time. I got a bunch of secret boxes. I spent $200 on these big red boxes and I got bullshit. I got nothing in those boxes. Like, nothing I wanted. I threw all that shit to, to my friend. He has it now. It was such a good time. And I, I never looked at anime that way. As a kid growing up, I was the kid that wanted to be like everyone else. I was a follower. I wasn't a leader. So, anime was like this nerdy thing that, that a potential school shooter from the school would like. But I was a stupid little asshole. Only if I knew. Five months ago, I started this anime journey. The people... The music, the storytelling, the emotions, everything, the messages I get, everything about anime is just so beautiful. 
I love it. And as someone that loved Japanese culture before I got into anime, now I appreciate it even more. Now I want to fucking move there tomorrow, but I can't because the borders are closed to Japan. Once they open, them some bitches better welcome me because I'm moving there. So now, with the community aside, y'all already know how I feel about you. I love you so much to death. Even though some of you, I just want to fucking get my hands. Let's talk about the animes, okay? First, I want to start with this one. This one right here. This is, so far, my number one. I know that may be cliche. People are like, Nick, that's really cliche. What about Spy Family? No, nah, no, nah, I love Spy Family, but listen. Attack on Titan just connected with me so deep. The storytelling just changed my complete outlook on life. How they go back to the first episode in the fourth season and connects. Little things connect. You don't know who the enemy or the good guy is. You, you, you don't know these things, and as you're watching it, you're on the edge of your seat trying to understand the motives behind these characters. You, you hate a character in the beginning, but then you love them. Now you want to see them succeed. A character dies that you never think would die. You, you watch these shows, you're like, eh, I'm not going to die. This is a, a cartoon, a fucking cartoon. Are you serious? My friend showed me a page at a Berserk, the manga. I could have fuck. I could have believed what I saw. There was like a horse and something else that I can't even say. I no, no. I, I gotta, I gotta read that shit immediately. The storytelling is it's just something else. It surpasses some of my favorite movies, and I never thought animation would do that to me. I never thought that I would relate to a character so much that isn't really a human being. But it's crazy. Like, I could relate to Eren. I could relate to Gabby. I could relate to Reiner. I could relate to Mikasa, Armin, Levi, Hanji. I could relate to these characters in different ways. They're different personalities. Then you have a show like Demon Slayer with the emotion. And then you have some comedy thrown in there. And I'm laughing. I'm laughing. Maybe not all of the time. Like, 90% of the jokes hit. But it's not all fun and games. There's emotions. There, there's, there's family issues. That there's just these things that's tough, just fucking string those heartstrings. Is that what you say? String, tickle, or finger those heartstrings? I don't know, but wow. Then you have Spy Family. Such a cute, feel good anime that made me cry the first time I watched it. After I watched it, I watched it again off camera, and I'm like, this is beautiful. Like, this is what I want, bro. I'm gonna cry right now, man. Like, just. It, they're not even a real family, but it feels better than my family, and I love mine. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's funny. Like, it, it's crazy what this can make you feel. Then you go to Jujutsu Kaisen. The action. I haven't seen action like that. Demon Slayer has its action, so is Attack on Titan. A little spy family. But Jujutsu Kaisen just... Holy god, like, this is my... Like, my sweet tooth. Like, I watch it, I'm like, oh, I, I want to fucking deep throat this show. Like, it just feels so good. Like, I, I want to find someone and just punch them in the fucking throat. Like, it just makes me feel so strong and, and energetic every time I watch it. I, I love the characters. Fushiguru, Itadori, Maki, Panda. Oh, my, oh, don't get me started with Panda. How did I not mention Chantaro on Demon Slayer? Like, I have a fucking bird on my couch, and he's hanging right there. Do you see this? This is what anime's done with me. This isn't just for the channel. This is what I love now. I wore that Chantado around my neck during Anime Expo. Around my gold chain. Fuck the gold chain. Chantado is my new Jesus piece. I just started watching Death Note. I can't believe I didn't watch this show when it first came out. I remember my friends talking about it. It's this dark show. There, there's a devil and there's death. And I was like, mm, it's that pussy kid shit, that nerdy sh Are you serious? I love it. I love how dark it is. It connects with my inner emo. I am an emo. I'm emo at heart. This was literally me, this show. And now I'm watching it. I can relate to Ryuk, the devil himself. Light is the real devil, I'm telling you guys. I'm only on like episode four or three, I guess. And I'm, I'm fully involved. I can't wait to see where the story goes. And that's how I feel with every anime. I can't wait to see where the story goes. And it's really hard to drag me in with stuff right away. When I'm watching a movie, sometimes I fall asleep. I'm like, this shit fucking sucks, asshole. 
but, but, but with anime, I'm drawn in right away. Sometimes it takes an episode, but the story, storytelling, Japanese, I'm telling y'all, I say this in a lot of my videos, Japanese artists, writers, storytellers, whatever, y'all are not human beings. You're aliens. I think there's one studio called Ufotable, and I saw a meme. They called it Ufotable. Yeah, because they're not of the, on this fucking earth. They're, they're, they're in UFOs when they create this shit. They're not on earth. Wow. Anime is something else. That is literally my opinion on anime. It's something else. It's something that I wish I got into. But I was really close-minded as a kid, so I'm happy I got into it now, where I'm more open-minded. I'm willing to try different things, different music, different food, and in this case, different media. Maybe one day I'll get into manga. Who the fuck knows? I never thought I'd read a book in my life. My dad used to do all my book reports as a kid. So the fact that anime is making me want to read either means I'm sick in the head or this is really good. Maybe both. All right, let's talk about something that, that got me into anime. The music. The fucking music. My Spotify playlist used to be 80% emo music, 20% rap hip hop. Now I'd say it's 70% Japanese anime music or just Japanese music in general. 29% emo music 1% rap this is what japanese japan anime has done to me the music is just something else you listen to the attack on titan openings you listen to openings that i haven't even watched shows for yet like Un unravel from um, tokyo ghoul or vinland saga which has my favorite anime song of all time i think it's called mokangyo or something i'm not japanese you think i'm gonna say this shit right only word i know is tatakai that's the only thing i know and moto those are two words i know i know oh and baka what does baka mean shit or or idiot i don't know anyways incredible the music is just something else it's a anime is something else bro in general with everything i can't believe it i can't believe it when i'm watching it when i'm listening to it when i'm thinking about it i can't believe it's real I can't believe it took me till 26 years old to check it out. And I'm turning 27 in a few days, July 15th. That's my birthday, bitches. Yeah. I can't believe it took me till 26 years old to find this, but I'm so happy I did because it is a blessing. And I feel like I'll never get canceled. And if I do, fuck it. I'm still gonna watch and react to Attack on Titan and, and anime in general. I can't wait to check out Chainsaw Man. And people told me about solo leveling and I can't wait to check out Hunter Hunter and One Piece. Like, this journey is gonna go on and on and on. And that's what I really love. Like, I feel like I just entered into this, this new world. Like, I was in this, this, this candy land before, but now I'm in Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Now, like, I'm like, holy shit, look at all this chocolate, man. I fucking love chocolate. I, I hate candy. I love chocolate. Isn't it the same thing? I don't know, but wow. I, I'm ready, man. I'm, re I, I'm like, some people say I haven't even scratched the surface yet with anime. Like, there's so much. And that scares me. God. Can't wait to go to New York Comic Con and, and um, not Comic Con, um, Anime NYC. I got tickets for that with my friends. I can't wait to see you guys. I can't wait to experience more of this culture. And that's what anime has done for me. It's made me excited for life. And this is where I get a little emotional. And I promise I'm not gonna cry and be a little little pussy. I'm not saying you're a pussy if you cry, but I'm saying I'm not gonna get there, okay? I cry a lot. Call me what you want. But I haven't had the greatest time with life in the past few years. I'm not gonna lie. As much success as I've seen on my channel, I got my apartment, I have good money, I make good money, I have a really nice Tesla car. You know, I've made some friends along the way. I'm still not happy. I felt this emptiness in my chest and I, you know, I thought about things a couple of times, a lot of times, actually. But anime has really made me rediscover something or just discover something in general within myself where I'm excited about life again. I'm excited. And I haven't been able to say that since I was a kid. Not once as, a, as an adult have I said I'm excited for something. But I'm excited to live. I'm excited to see tomorrow, what tomorrow brings. And I... You know, I thank you guys the most for that. Without you guys, uh, fuck! No, I'm not. I'm not going there. I'm not. Not today, guys. But um, yeah. Without you guys, I don't know where I'd be right now. I mean, I know where I'd be. Yeah. 
Yeah, hell. Uh, I meant six feet deep, but yeah, take that as you will. Hell, I'll be in hell. Definitely. I uh, definitely. With the things I say and the thoughts I have, I'd definitely be in hell. There ain't no place for me in heaven. <laughs> I heard it's boring anyways, bro. Hell is where it's at, you feel me? So yeah, anime basically saved me, I guess. And by anime, I mean the community, the animes itself, the culture, the music, everything. All of that combined into one anime. It basically saved me. It, it made me continue. It made me want to see tomorrow. And that was the whole idea behind this video was that no matter what age you are in life, I feel like it's never too late to discover something to make you keep moving. And I'm not gonna love it forever. Maybe I will, who knows? But at least this made me want to keep going. And it taught me that there's still exciting things out there for me to discover. Whether it's places in the world, cultures, food, whatever. There's things to be excited for. There's exciting things out there. I don't have to think a fucking planet crashing into this planet and, and destroying our planet has to be exciting. What do I even mean by that? See, this is what I mean. I, I'm a dark individual. This is why the K-pop community kicked me the fuck out. So yeah, guys, I want you and girls and whatever and everything else, okay? I'm not trying to get canceled again. Let me know down below your experience with anime. When'd you begin? Tell your story, how I told my story. What does anime mean to you? I'm gonna read it. I'm actually gonna read it. I read all my comments. Even if I don't respond, I always read my comments. I know I shouldn't. But I do because I love talking to you guys. I never had much friends in my life. And I'm just so grateful to have you caring, caring about me. I never felt cared about until recently. So thank you guys. I love you. And let's continue this journey. It's going to be a beautiful one. And I'm glad. Happier than ever. Happier than a, than a fucking flower. Yeah, on Chantado's asshole. I don't even know what that means. But I'm happier than ever to be able to start this journey with you guys or to continue this journey. I love you all. Goodbye.